Hello everyone, welcome to Geek Tank, where everything is a matter of geek. I'm your host, Kay, and today we're unveiling a brand new segment here at the Massimo Gallery. It's called Between Two Paintings. And no, we're not copying off of Zach Galifianakis's Between Two Ferns. Who is that? <laughs> yeah, you've never heard of it, right? <laughs> never. Who, who, who's... I have no idea. What is even Between Two Ferns? Because we're between sure. two paintings right exactly, now. Exactly, we are. <laughs> we have Van Gogh on my right, and we have Kennedy on my left. <laughs> so... Without further ado, let's introduce our guest here, who can also helped me come up with the idea for Between Two Paintings. I know him as Mo. He has a very kind of hard to pronounce name. Mohenad. It's Is like it? Mohammed with two, M, uh, two N's in the middle. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, say that again. Mohenad. Mohenad. Yeah. Uh, am I saying it properly You're saying or no? It properly, very good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because my my Arabic is kind of rusty, but I you, no but Mo is simpler. <laughs> <laughs> mess up Mo, you know what I mean? So, did you ever get any trouble like in school? Like, where did people like teachers have big trouble for not big time? Yeah. Do you want to hear a funny story? My yeah, brother's yeah. name is Muhammad. <laughs> okay. So, can you imagine what we got going on? All in our right. Lives? So, anything he would purchase or I would purchase, it would go under his name, and what he purchases is going under my name, and we're only one number, so social security number away. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> so like he will open like a chase account and i'll get a phone call like hello mr mohan thank you so much for opening I'm like i never open anything you know what i mean yeah yeah so it's it has its purpose. all right yeah, yeah. i mean because like i go by the name k because mm -hmm. i know my name is kind of hard to pronounce too how is it it's uh Khuzridge. okay so Khuzridge. i'm yeah <laughs> yeah, you gotta, yeah you gotta have that that throat <laughs> yeah yeah exactly Scratching. <laughs> so sure. whenever like somebody reads my name like that i'm not even gonna try and, like even for me like in school it was like the teachers like when they roll call it's like no nope, i'm not even gonna try so like my mentality is like oh you're not gonna try my name yeah i'm not even gonna try in your class exactly i'm out <laughs> <laughs> later <laughs> not present <laughs> say my name <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your background here i mean uh your where did it all start uh my life or the yeah, gallery your life <laughs> okay it all started in jerusalem uh mm -hmm. circa 1989 Okay. So I was born there, was raised half my life in the States, half in the Middle East, in Jordan, the mm -hmm. neighboring country, because, you know, the conflict in jo Jerusalem is too much. Yeah. But moved uh, back here in 2007 when I was 17 years old. Okay. And been here since, so a good 12, 13 years. With that being said, I mean, like, was it like a hard transition of moving course. back here? Definitely. Like, we come from a third world country. Mm -hmm. To come to a land of opportunity, it's amazing. Yeah. And we're blessed to be here. That's good. That's sure. good. Uh, like, did you have trouble learning the English language at first? Or? Not really, because I was in an American school back home. Okay. It's just getting used to the things that I wasn't used to back home. Mm -hmm. So, like, the culture shock, um, f new friends. I was I moved on my senior year. So okay. can you imagine? So, yeah, like, during yeah. my entire year, I didn't make a single friend. Wow. It was hard for me. I didn't even go to my prom. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What no did one, you end up doing? I uh, stayed home. Honestly, just oh, went to work, if I remember yeah. properly. Yeah. I didn't have anyone to go with, so it's unfortunate. That's kind of hard to say. Like, you didn't have anybody to go with, man. I mean, like, you're a handsome young man. Not back then, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you gotta understand, like, I didn't have that passion. You know what I mean? I was yeah. shorter, I was chubbier. I wore a Hollister everywhere I went. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, no, like, also, you know, I know. That's fine. It's a dress shirt. At least that's proper. Yeah, yeah. I had, like, a t shirt that said Hollister. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I know. I would go out, like, on my Saturdays. Yeah. It's not I'm, like, it's not, it doesn't say, like, it doesn't scream out, like, hey, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very cultured, and you know what I mean? Or, I know how to dress, for sure. Just says I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a virgin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I mean, that's it's like a great story to hear, too. I mean, obviously, you gave us like a very brief description of it because like it is a true American story. Yes. It is that essential American story of coming to a land of opportunity and making something for yourself. For sure. Definitely. And it wasn't easy. Yeah, it wasn't easy. Yeah. So if you can, let's go into that. Like, why, why was it an easy easy um other than the culture shock it mm -hmm. was just i got straight to work so back in middle east everything was laid back you know what i mean you barely worked or yeah you know you got by with ten dollars for the whole month here mm -hmm. it's it's a rat race man so as i first got here i learned that work 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 and I haven't like lifted my head since mm -hmm. but i'm learning to take breaks here and there because you definitely need to reboost you know what i mean re uh boot the batteries recharge just to produce more yeah yeah for sure that's good um so what inspired you to do what for <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> no no dude like, like, that's the question uh, yeah. yeah what inspires you i used to live every day um <laughs> to what well, i'll fit i'll let you finish up my apologies for no, no, interrupting no, no, you. man go ahead what inspired if, if, if the end if the sent if the question ended there then what inspires me living man living. all right 
like with the words of Matthew McConaughey, I think he's gonna like die as a as a philosopher. Just keep living, man. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. All right, yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's sad to say. I mean, I don't want to get into politics or anything like that. But when Trump got elected, like I used that shit too yeah, really on my did. Facebook post. I was like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> that's what it well, is. That's all you gotta say. Yeah, what that's do? what. Yeah. You know, start protesting. <laughs> Ball on deaf ears. <laughs> yeah, man. But it's 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 a challenge. You know what I mean? Life every day waking up, mm-hmm. but you gotta find that goal. You gotta find that thing you're striving for. And for me, it's just the um, the unknown. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, imagine if everyone knew like what their day was gonna be like tomorrow. Yeah. They wouldn't wake up. You know what I mean? It's just the excitement of not knowing. The land up, definitely a possibility. So you so you're more centered in the now. On the now, the present for sure. All right. Why worry about the future and why care about the past? You, I can't change either. Yep, that's true. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what I try to tell myself, try to live by too. It's it's not easy. Sometimes you know, you, you obviously got to learn from your past mistakes. Definitely. And to focus on the now. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it, it all goes in hand to hand. I would say, for at least for me. So now now we're getting to like that spiritual side. We are getting in there. <laughs> I feel it. We're entering. <laughs> we, we segue right into the yeah. spiritualness now. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your, uh, I, I wouldn't say religious background, background or your spiritual, like spiritual just your, your outlook. Sure. Yeah. So I grew up as a Muslim and I'm still mm-hmm. a Muslim, but I just believe I went from being a hardcore Muslim of praying and mm-hmm. really believing that there's some Allah out there, you know what I mean? And I'm yeah. not trying to offend anyone no 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 it's just um i went from that to being spiritual in terms of i believe there's a higher force Mm -hmm. i mean i don't want to label him as one certain thing as god allah nirvana you know what i mean i just or i just want to name or christ you know that's a big one Mm -hmm. it's just there's a there's a universe out there with a higher force yeah i don't want to tiptoe around him i want to know the truth i want to like delve in it yeah, because, like, one of the things, like, you know, I always try to tell people is that religion is a very personal thing. Okay. Even, like, spirituality, mm-hmm. in a sense. It's, it's a personal thing. It's uh, just because, you know, someone may be following the same religion, the way they practice it and what they believe and what they take from it is going to be unique to their, to themselves. Different inter- interpretation. Though. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, like, it's a good moral to have that as in um, don't judge people with what they believe or whatever as long as they're doing something good sure uh it's funny you said that because i watched like a 60 minute uh segment and they had the pope on and mm-hmm. the the uh, interviewer asked him like it's pope what's the best religion now that's kind of mm-hmm. kind of you kind of caught him there right yeah so he looked at the interviewer is like whatever religion brings you closer to god choose that's the right path you know what i mean yeah so uh, even with like higher um uh, authority um, they understand that it's all about following the right path, whatever leads you to, to God. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if it's Buddhism, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or whatever you do. Yeah. Just do good in the world, you know what I mean? Don't, exactly. If your God is telling you to harm people, then maybe you should question that God. Yeah, because, I mean, like, I, I always say this, too. It's like, in all aspects of, like, every single religion, you you have the golden rule where exactly. it's like, you know, just treat your fellow man as, like, family. Love thy neighbor, man. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's insane that, you know, obviously... Uh, I, I'm going to quote, not quote, but from one of the segments I saw before, there was a guy, Reza Aslan. Okay. He talked about religion and stuff like that. He He's a theologist. Okay. So he studies and he, he writes books. Science, uh, yeah, yeah. Of course. So he wrote books and, like, he was on, obviously, on, like, some, some news channel and they were, like, talking to him, like, so what's a Muslim guy writing about Christ, yada, yada, yada. And he said, like, flat out, he's like, look, a lot of people will misinterpret religion Mm -hmm. but the thing is it's because it's all dependent on the person of course so if the person's a violent person he's gonna be is gonna uh, there uh he's gonna reflect on the violent aspects of that religion amen Amen. very true yeah um it's funny you said theology because uh all of our words most of Mm -hmm. them come from greek mythology so theology theos meaning god and ology meaning the study of so the study of god you know what i mean and I believe I'm really into Greek mythology mm-hmm. right now. Like I, my books are all about it. I just bought one from um, from Barnes and Noble two days ago. It's called Cirque. I'm not sure it's called Cirque or Circe. It's a book about a, a goddess. You know what I mean? Greek goddess. And I just I love hearing stories, man. Yeah. It's just amazing. There's lessons to be taught in yeah. every story. And it's one of the things that we do here at Geek Tank. That's one of my uh, missions with with this channel is to share people's stories. Yeah. 
Because if you have more stories out there, then you have a more understanding of the world. True. And you have more empathy and more love out there in the world. Obviously, I'm not going to sh- share stories of hate. No, of course not. Just There's more. That on the- yeah. There's always plenty of that just being force fed to us now. True, true. Uh, I was going to say something, but uh, shoot, I forgot. Um, what were we talking about? <laughs> it like a second before this. Like we were talking about. Um, the books that you have, the the uh, Greek. Yeah, it's just making us more open minded. Yeah. That's all it is. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, we learn not to judge. Mm hmm. We accept people for what they are and what they do. Mm-hmm. As long as it doesn't affect me, do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whatever you do is just a reflection of yourself. It has nothing yeah. to do with me. Like, there's a lot of books that teach you that don't take things personally. The four agreements. Mm-hmm. That's the number one. Like, don't think anything personally. Live by those rules, man. See, see you're talking about these books now. And it's like, Z is not here. I'm not I'm not the book reader, bro. Okay, I'm not, I'm not the out. book I'm reader, bro. Sure, I hear you. <laughs> but I just want to launch <laughs> that know. out. But I'm no, sure no. you agree with what I say. No, you know of, course, like, of course. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be like, you don't have to read yeah, it yeah, yeah, to understand yeah, yeah. it or to agree with it. I'm more of the visual medium. I hear you. Like <laughs> movies. Yeah, movies okay. and those kind of stories. And I do believe movies are trying to tell us something mm-hmm. that we're just thinking at as fiction. You know what I mean? Yeah. For example, um, uh, the Day After Tomorrow with Jake Gyllenhaal. That's an old movie. You know I mean, that came out, yeah, yeah. I think, over 10 years ago. And the story about that is, like, the world crisis in terms of weather, how, like, three hurricanes hit at one time. Mm-hmm. Well, that's Irma, like, last year, bro. If you well, noticed. that was also over here in Florida. Yeah, like, years back. Yeah, yeah, two years ago, Irma. Not even just Irma. That was more than 10 years ago. We, we literally got hit with three hurricanes Are in a row. Are you serious? Really? Yeah. So, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah, yeah. In the movies, and we're like, oh, my God, that's crazy. But, dude, that's reality right now. Mm-hmm. So it's crazy how like movies are reflecting today's world. Mm-hmm. Um, are you? Have you seen House of Cards? I haven't seen House of Cards. I know of it though. They were, they were saying like how relevant it is to today's. You know, what I mean? yeah. they were wondering like, how did they predict things to be the way it is, and it's cr- it's scary, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, did you face any challenges with this gallery? Many, every day. You, every day? <laughs> every day. Okay. Every day. I wake up every morning just like praying to God like nothing else happens. You know? <laughs> so the concept of this gallery, like what was what was going through your head when you like – before you opened it, before you even came up with the idea of Massimo? Okay. I like it. I like the question. So I took my mom and my sister to Europe for a vacation mm-hmm. for two weeks, and I just noticed in every city I visited that there was an art gallery like in every corner. You know what I mean? So why – is it so popular in Europe, but not popular in the United States? Are they more culture than us? Are they more educa- are, are they educated more than us? So I kind of questioned myself. Then I'm like, why can't I, if I were to open it here in the States, mm-hmm. but I get the same reaction as they would. And I'm learning that it's not the same, man. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, I'm still no, but I mean, trailblazing, man. You know, yeah. I'm not going to close it up. I got to think of new innovative ways to bring mm-hmm. the people and to open their eyes and mind to different worlds. Mm-hmm. And sure. that's what it truly is. I mean, like once... Every single time I come here, I mean, like, uh, we're so grateful here at Geek Tank that, you know, you let us host our shows here. Yeah, and sponsor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, you know, you sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I want to thank him for asking Hey, guys. <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah, anytime, man. No, yeah, it's great. I mean, like, you're doing way innovative things. And was there anybody that was telling you, like, don't do it? Everybody. Really? Everybody. Because they didn't believe in it. But I was upset because they didn't believe in me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Maybe they don't believe in the concept, which is fine. I understand that. But how about belief in a person? Yeah. And their goals and their dreams. Because it's like what I'm doing, is I'm not like creating the rock or fire. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not building a wheel. That's already been. So galleries already exist in the world. I'm just bringing it to this part of town. Mm-hmm. For sure. And that's and it's one of the great things, too, here that you do is uh, all your art that I see in this gallery. Yeah. Besides these, between these two paintings. These, yeah, these two prints. <laughs> yeah. These two prints. Wait. <laughs> yeah. But they, they, there's a message behind them. No, That's yeah. why I have them. Okay. I, like, from all the art, I chose these two because they are close to me mm-hmm. in terms of meaning and purpose. Like, Kennedy, one of the greatest, okay. shot this guy, master, uh, master artist, suicide, and all these stories. That mm-hmm. So, they, de- they definitely have a... An influence on me. Okay. I can say that for sure. Well, that's good. I you know, it's supposed to be more lighthearted, though, yeah, man. You, you're getting too I philosophical, got, yeah, too deep. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got to <laughs> deep right now. Yeah. Like, you saw my voice. I just, like, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Back to your real life. Yeah, for sure. So, all the artwork in the gallery is all local artists. We don't yeah. carry anyone out of the city. Uh, we just give them a voice, a platform. You yeah. know I mean, proper demonstration is what they need. Um, instead of selling art on Instagram, instead of selling art in the back of your truck or in the garage or at your home, 
you need a proper platform, man. Yeah. So the cool thing about this gallery is that I give everyone, any artist that has their pieces on the wall, 24 access to the gallery. So they can come and show their clients anytime they want. And as you see, the bar right behind me, yeah. we do cater a lot of beer and wine and definitely uh, facilitates the purchase. Yeah, uh, you guys actually have a, like a beer and wine menu, I think. We do, it's right uh. there. On top, you want to take a look at it? Or? Yeah, yeah, I can take a look at it. Yeah. I think you guys serve something called the uh, avocado. Avocado. Yeah, <laughs> that's a dessert. <laughs> avocado, yeah, av avocado. It's, it's two Fs, so you pronounce the Fs, not like avocado, like avocado. Uh, avocado. For, for avocado. a second there, I'm like, oh, no, you guys serve brunch here yeah, and Yeah, no, whatnot, no, no, it's dude. just like a small little dessert. Thing. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's Italian, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's a scoop of ice cream ver uh, on top of... Um, Two shots of espresso. Okay. So it's just cool. You know what I mean? It's cool. Yeah, it's no, that's, yeah, that's good. No one else serves it. What's up? It's simple, <laughs> simple yet sophisticated. Exclusive to Massimo. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's just the list, now that I am keep on saying Massimo, let's go into yeah. the name. Let's do it. So Massimo is an Italian variation for Maximus, meaning the greatest. Like okay. Tragic Greek mythology is something yeah. that I really strive upon. So it's called Positive Affirmations. We have to believe that we're the greatest gallery to become the greatest gallery. Yeah. If, they, if we don't believe it, how are we going to have our guests believe that we're, we're good at what yeah. we do? And people could tell from our presentation. No, that's good, man. Yeah. Uh, like for a second there, you're saying Maximus. I'm like, Maximus. so were you inspired by the movie Gladiator? Um, are we going to go into that? But we'll go into that. Uh, <laughs> not just that movie, of course. Russell Crowe just celebrated, I think, his 50-something birthday the other day. Amazing actor. He killed it yeah. in Gladiator. But that movie just spoke about honor. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And he could have been named anything else but Maximus. I mean, why yeah. Maximus? It means the greatest. Yeah. And he was the greatest warrior. So that means that you're going to have, like, the, gladiator battles here at no, the gallery? No, not at all. Not at all. I'm just saying that we reflect <laughs> on the word great. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hope someone doesn't, like, walk in with the gladiator. like, do well, I not entertain maybe, you? Maybe. Maybe. We, we might. Who knows? I think you're going to walk in here one day. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> Nah, bro. Cut, cut. Nah, nah, that's totally fine. Yeah. No, for sure not. But yeah. <laughs> but we definitely do this sometimes. We do the, like the movie scene. Like we're oh, like, yeah? like, is he like, sometimes just for like guests when they're giving us a hard time. Like, <laughs> are they a bitch or are they cool? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're cool. They're cool. All right. <laughs> so like, I'll be far away. And if you see me doing this, just like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like get a summary. Of, gauge. Yeah. You yeah, try to gauge sure. someone. <laughs> definitely. That's yeah. hilarious. And it you is. guys do a whole bunch of crazy events here too. Oh, man. So that means you're eventually down the line, maybe you might actually have a Thunderdome built here and Why have like not? a gladiator a battle. A call call for sure. <laughs> Why not? You know, what I mean? yeah. nothing is off limits. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> Whatever to make a dollar, just to pay the rent and keep the lights on. But we do a lot of events. We do have a 120 inch projector that comes down from the ceiling in mm -hmm. the front of the gallery. We host a lot of movie nights, not mm -hmm. just movie nights. We do presentations. We do, um, um, what's the other word? Presentation. Oh, I got a brain fart. Presentation movies, uh, documentaries. Okay. For sure. Um, and yeah, we just keep it, we keep it filled with interesting people and the connections we're making in this gallery are so genuine, man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, these strangers are becoming family members and they like all coming right. back and supporting because you don't see what we're doing any yeah. often. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's all big corporate America uh, companies yeah. just taking it. Yeah. So, so what is it that like now that we can segue kind of into that too, is that wh what is it that like, you know, you don't like about other galleries, if you don't mind me asking, like that sets you apart. Um, they're so formal, man. They're so like, they have a script they go through and that's it. They're all about dollar bills. Well, mm -hmm. yes, we are running a business, but at the same time, you got to make these connections Yeah. because these connections. Yeah. Maybe not every day we're making money, but we're building connections that one day will come back yeah. and pay us tenfold. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. As long as we're putting the customers first, because people could tell that other galleries, you, you automatically feel yeah. that their eyes are looking at you. They're here to sell you something. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's I'm like not here gonna, to sell you anything. Yeah. It's like a car dealership in a For sense. For sure. It's like you just go in there and it's like, oh, I'm getting hounded about, oh, whether I want to buy this painting, exactly. which I barely looked at. Uh, for sure. Exactly. So one of our philosophy in the gallery is that we definitely want to make sure that the p art piece and the, and the guest Mm -hmm. are perfect for each other yeah. we don't want to just give out artwork to anyone we definitely want to find it a home where they will they'll enjoy it as much as we do there's the parousia you're very mm -hmm. familiar with parousia there was a day when we looked at it for over 30 mm -hmm. 30 minutes that piece is for sale but at the same time it's not for sale yeah like i bought it but i just haven't paid the artist yet you know what i mean yeah i'm yeah. just waiting on the funds but it's just it, it would hurt me to see that painting go to okay. someone else because it needs to go in my house <laughs> no, no, really because i love that painting yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Sure. you know we have an extensive conversation about it exactly and especially about the artist himself too alejandro salmi mm -hmm. amazing artist if you want so to... humble yeah yeah i would love to talk to him about him uh venezuelan artist 
moved to Orlando, he was um, a master sea diver. He used to go like discover like hidden treasures in the seas and around the world, and he would also do art in the water. How unbel- I can't even explain it to you. So he's he's been a lot. He's been through a lot. He's seen a lot. So his paintings reflect spiritual journeys. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just perfect. And the way he uses cardboard and glue and just recycled materials, he builds a masterpiece that not many people can understand. Like you really mm-hmm. got to look at it from different angles and different lighting and just. It's not even just look at it. Yeah. You, like, you got to, like, feel it. Like, yeah. his paintings are just, like, it's not just a traditional 2D no, thing. No. It's it's like a painting and a sculpture. Exactly, sense. exactly. Um, it's very durable. It's so mm-hmm. strong. Like, one time, that same painting fell. Just the hook in the back fell. It just broke. Mm-hmm. Boom, to the floor. It scratched the floor, and it didn't do anything to the painting. Damn. Believe it, I swear. So that tells you that it's a durable very durable yeah, piece of art long lasting long lasting for sure he mixes so much paint so much uh cardboard a lot of glue it's just it's honestly it's undervalued mm-hmm. it's undervalued under underappreciated yeah yeah i definitely believe he's going to be in a museum one day for sure 100%. oh for sure and I'll I mean, back like him, you know, yeah to light till yeah and i'm honored that he calls me his representative that's that's yeah. that's great that's awesome man i mean like that relationship that you build with the artist not even just with the artist that you carry here it is just like the people that come in on oh, a daily day basis. Definitely, man. I mean, like I've literally witnessed you firsthand. Like, you, in a sense, you know, you're not doing this for money. No, you're not doing. Uh, you're not. You're just doing it to pay the rent. But you, ha- you believe in the passion that you have for the art. You believe that art is for everyone, and you will find pieces or ways for people to even create their own art here. Yeah, for sure. Think about it this way: we wouldn't be doing what we're doing right now mm-hmm. if it wasn't for the gallery correct yeah the gallery is the one who introduced us together yeah so i believe everything's interconnected we're meant to meet but underneath the gallery's wing and here we are doing this uh podcast inside the gallery yeah so it's just it's i'm going back to the deep philosophical stage <laughs> you got to, because we can't be talking about this and all right hold on I, 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 I gotta i gotta Chug drink that, yeah, yeah, I gotta yeah drink yeah, a little bit for sure to get that feeling mm-hmm. but it's it's been a blessing man uh definitely tough roads but um mm-hmm. what Anything that's easy is not worth having. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we em- we embrace the the rocky road. We're embracing the failures because that's it's all about the journey in the end, man. We look back and say, I can't yeah. believe we went through that, and we're here. We are still surviving, and just positive vibes, man. That's all I can say. Like I said, like a stoner, like positive vibes, man. <laughs> but no, real talk, like yeah. real talk. If you don't have anything negative, uh, positive mm-hmm. to say, just please, just don't bring it in here. Yeah. And I feel like it has like an out like outer shield mm-hmm. it just protects us from these harmful people yeah real talk man. i mean w- would you say you've come across a lot of negative people when you first started this definitely or? for sure i still come across them but i just i'm better at dodging them like the matrix you I mean like i'm like neo on these guys you know what i mean just dodging <laughs> phone calls and dodging because i could tell that their inner energy just it's a feeling it's a, it's a gut mm-hmm. feeling man the same gut feeling i had to open this place and here i am and there's another gut feeling that tells me yo this guy's definitely got to trust your gut feeling there's yeah, a reason yeah. why it's there yeah i mean it, it's funny because like you know when we first got introduced we got introduced by someone else and uh who's no longer with us let's just be honest man you yeah. know what i mean <laughs> who's no longer in, <laughs> yeah. in, in our triangle yeah yeah we had to boot him yeah, he, <laughs> yeah. well we appreciate the connection he was like the bridge abc yeah he yeah, was yeah, a bridge. yeah thank you later because <laughs> yeah, yeah i mean he does have a lot of negative energy but uh, definitely and he's so, also from a different generation. Let's be yeah, honest. Yeah. He wasn't young. You know what I mean? He yeah. wasn't, he didn't see eye to eye. He wasn't vibing on our same frequency. So mm-hmm. you got to cut him loose. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's it. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. That's true. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it was sad, but then it was like, then, it, then again, it's like, you know, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be here together. Exactly. And that's how we look at it. But true. then it's also like, you know, I, my expectation was like, oh man, I'm meeting a gallery owner. Like I, before I even knew, knew you. Be honest, like, man. Tell yeah, me. I, I was like, oh this. man, it's gonna be like an old guy, yeah. douchebag. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, he's not gonna want to hear new ideas, especially me. Concerning for me, like you know, I come, I still work at a different art gallery or whatnot. But so like, I know that understanding is like, oh okay, whatever. Let's then do these it. guys are stuck in their old ways and don't want to do anything different and whatnot. And then like, I meet you, I'm like, oh shit, this, guy this guy's just like barely barely 30 yeah with he's owning an art gallery this, this young entrepreneur 
He's this fucking like he's extremely good looking. Like, oh, okay, no, okay. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> no, I'm just no like, I'm just like, look, man, I, I'm comfortable with my sexuality. I, 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 I can you. call. It's the, a like, joke. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, I could call in the person handsome. Yeah, exactly. It's just that I wish I had a makeup department here so I can make you less handsome, I so agree. I can look more handsome yeah, yeah, in yeah. comparison to you. It's just like I have to, you know. You know I can't. <laughs> Yeah, you're looking all busted trying to sell art here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to get polished a few times. But no, for sure. But no, real talk. Um, You, you give credit when credit is due. I like that. Mm-hmm. I appreciate it. And thank you. But when I saw you too, I had that fe- the same feeling, man, that you were hungry. You're ambitious. Mm-hmm. You had a great thing going. You just needed a proper, pla- a proper platform, man. Mm-hmm. I saw what you were struggling with. You know what I mean? And I, 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 I'm going to say it on t- la- like live right on the camera like man you always have a place always have a home yeah, man i mean same to you man i mean like like i said i consider you as family the only thing that i don't like is that you always pay for shit you need to stop doing that i understand <laughs> I, I know it's, it's uh, yeah but you gotta understand like all the times I, I paid for things is that i invited you out like where i come from i invite i know that you know what i mean like if you were to so, tell me like hey let's go grab a beers then you want to pay him like yo okay sounds good he invited me out you know what i mean but i'll definitely still offer yeah. it's like that girl when you take her on a date you know what i mean yeah, always yeah. Wear, always has a purse well but you never see her do anything with that purse <laughs> like bitch what's inside of it you need some makeup <laughs> so like a foot long sandwich like what's in there definitely it's not a credit card or, or cash yeah yeah it's it just it's just sucks because you know we sort of come from a similar cultural background sure. and since i'm older so, than you so it's like yeah, man you you're like you're my, you're my younger brother i was supposed to be paying for yeah, this shit stop yeah. paying for your stuff know, man. man stop it i'm very hospitable That's yeah, what i you know, say. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I like hospitality man because when you get in return i don't mm-hmm. mean like i'm gonna say okay next time you're paying is that there's times where you're gonna cover me man that i'm mm-hmm. not gonna be able to have it and yeah. that's when i know that I got a friend. Yeah. Because how many times, man, you just, people take advantage of you. That's, yeah. maybe I'm doing it just to know more about you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm trying to test you out. Because there are people who, who don't, who don't, like, mind me paying them. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just yeah. keep letting me spend, spend, spend. But it's nice to hear that. You say, listen, let me take care of this one. Yeah. That's a great feeling. That means that I'm being taken care of. Versus <laughs> I'm being taken advantage of. Yeah. That's true. I mean, I, I know that same feeling, too. Um yeah. Sorry, we have to drink our, you no, know, because we're sponsored yeah, we're by sponsored Corona. By Corona. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like how we had to say it's hot either. We both looked at it, the camera. Yeah. Stay we're sponsored by Corona. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or what's, the, what's their slogan? Find a beach? Or, uh, yeah, it? or something. Find a beach. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because no. I was just about to drink my microphone right now. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Jesus. It's one beer, bro. Uh-huh. Relax. Yeah. It's fun. It's but fun. No, today was a long day, so we definitely deserve it, so... Mm. We don't give up. And if you can, describe a little bit about the the classes that you do here. Not even just, like, the classes. It's, like, these events. Oh, like, the art wars oh, and, like, the, the paint pours. So the art wars came. Okay, let me tell you about the art wars, how it just came mm-hmm. to us with such blessing. So we went to Art Basel uh, last December. Mm-hmm. And this guy had painted on Stormtrooper heads some big one, massive helmets. So it looks cool. It's fun. You know what I mean? Then I realized, okay, so my other business is a Disney store, right? So we sell those same helmets, but smaller. Like they're like a piggy bank. And I noticed that the, the person who's selling it to me has like thousands. So I'm like, wait, let me try to connect my business with the other business, see if it works. So I called them up and we made a deal and we're blessed to have thousands of these heads. And we're the only one. So American Gangster. Yeah. Everyone's seen it. There's a scene where Denzel Washington, Frank Lucas says, um, when he was introducing his brothers and families to his business, he's like, find a product that's better than the competition and it's cheaper than the competition. So we have competitive advantage. Yeah. So no one in Orlando or no one in Florida, or to be honest, I'm like, I'm not going to sound, I'm going to boast a little bit. No, go ahead. No one in the world. <laughs> no one in the world. All right. That's offering these classes for the prices we are offering them. You I'm know, telling you. That, that's that's. It is true. I mean, there I have yet to see an experience like that anywhere else. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Star Wars is a big thing. It is. It's it is huge. A, it's a huge thing. It is. I think uh, just not too long ago, they just had their Star Wars celebration wherever they do it, and they just released the trailer for Episode yeah, 9. the teaser. Yep. And they're opening the Star Wars. There was a, last weekend was the Star Wars run in Disney. Mm-hmm. 
and August 29th they're opening Star Wars the Galaxy the uh, the yeah. theme park in Disney World. So it's definitely going to be here for a long time. Mm-hmm. Also, you don't have to be a Star Wars fan. Honestly, no. I, I'm not even a Star Wars fan, if I can be yeah. completely honest. I'm starting to become one because of these Art Wars. I'm watching yeah. more Star Wars movies. And it's just cool. Yeah. And uh, people are looking for something fun to do, something different. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they can come paint on it. And the price just invites everyone. $20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Adam. No, yeah, of yeah. course, dude. Dude, dude this is your segment, I man. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Twenty dollars, uh, all paint included, and yeah, come and have a great time with us. <laughs> and we cater to schedule around your schedule, meaning that you can come in any time the gallery's open. I hate when people just like offer something during a certain time, like happy. Hour. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Come on, dude. Happy hours at four to five, mm-hmm. one hour. I gotta kill. You know what I mean? Go through traffic for a fucking fifty cents off a wing. Get out of here. <laughs> but you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So Sunday to Tuesday, or Tuesday to Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tuesday, yeah. You just only had yeah. one beer, man. Yeah, no. Oh. No, Tuesday to Sunday from uh, 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. and it includes one stormtrooper and all the paint materials for twenty dollars, real cheap. And the thing is, it's for all ages. All ages, man. Except it's like not over five. Like, yeah. My little niece came and she was like tossing paint all over the place. Like, nope. Nope, she's like two years old. Like, okay, that's it. We got to set the age a little higher. Yeah, five years old, please. Right. Five. <laughs> five we and will up. Send that infant back. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> so have you ever had that before? Like like Never. a kid come Never. in and just like, mess up are, something? People are, no, no, knock on wood. It's just that um, people are aware of these things. You know, mm-hmm. If they're a if child, they're like just throwing food at house. I'm sure they're not going to bring them to an art gallery. You know what I mean? We have like thousands of dollar paintings on the walls. But yeah, man. Another thing, like, uh, to go back on to is, like, the, the way you said, you know, you came up with a name and you want to do, like, a positive, imp- like, implement a positive affirmation to the name yes. of this gallery. Definitely. It's – elaborate, if you can, on a little bit more about that, as in um, your actual belief in positive affirmation, if you haven't if you haven't talked about it. Quotes. All right. So positive affirmations, I feel like it's a, another way of hypnotizing your brain to just think of positive things because your brain, your thoughts are, is what controls your outcomes. So, so in the gallery, in the bathroom, there are thousands of quotes that I typed personally with my typewriter. So I have a 1928 typewriter. It's in the house. I had it in the gallery right. for like two, three weeks, but people kept playing with it. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to risk having it broken. Mm-hmm. So I took it back home, and every day I would write a quote or two. Some of them are mine. Some of them are other poets. And I would bring it to the gallery, and I'll post it on the wall, right. on the door. So they're all positive. They're all like uh, good reads, encouraging. Um, it's just it's fun. It's just fun to read quotes. Mm-hmm. Everyone's moved by quotes. So do, we, do, you, do you know what we did? Um, every day we sent out an email to all of our subscribers. Of a quote. Oh. Yeah, that's something nice. new. I'm not sure. Do, you, do we have your email? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, we'll add it to it. Yeah, so every yeah. morning we'll get a quote from us. Then oh, okay. we'll advertise our classes and our events and our things. Oh, all right. It's just that I've been posting on my Instagram mm. all these quotes. People love it. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm writing a book right now of quotes, a book of quotes. So I'm always at 100 pages, and that's when I'm going to have it published, hopefully, through Amazon or something. I'm mm-hmm. um, not sure the price yet, so I can't really advertise that right now. But... Stay 1995. Tuned. No, yeah, I'm just no. Joking. If I'm it's just the price are good, yeah, 1995. <laughs> but definitely, some of them are mine. Some of them are other poets. But these are the quotes that changed my life, and I'm sure it will yeah. change other people's. And uh, people just like it. We got good feedback on Instagram. So, like, do you want me to sell it? They're like, yeah. So here I am making the book. But um, also to add it to the gallery and imagine like all the people I don't have on social media who will love to read it. So that's why we're sending it to our closest, um, okay. g- yeah, clientele, and it just keeps us in their mind. Every time they're going to, oh, I, I should be getting a, an email from Massimo about a quote. I can't wait for the next quote. Yeah. It just gives them people yeah. something exciting to get up. And, that, and that's engaging with your, your clientele. Exactly. It's not even just like your clientele. It's like your family. Exactly. You're just constantly, you know, keeping that relationship with your family better. Stronger. Yeah. Building it, for yeah. sure. And now I'm going to put you on the spot in a second. Oh. It's like, can you come up with some uh, – can you tell us some quotes that – Heavily inspire you, or that well, you, you can remember. You <laughs> uh, Quote the Raven Nevermore. What? I know there's so many. <laughs> I know, I'm yeah, just, yeah. Like, going through my brain, I'm trying to find something that's like quick and effective and strong. If only they asked us who we were instead of what we wanted to be. Okay. That's a strong one. It's an unknown author. Really? Uh, yeah. Because you know that um, 
when we were kids like oh who do you want to be mm -hmm. well, ask us who we are yeah what kind of person we are what do we like so we can find our desire it's just we always want to be something that we're not like astronauts or firefighters mm -hmm. yeah they're cool but once you realize that that's not what i want to do that's not my true passion mm -hmm. like what who, like what makes you happy doing this doing this of yeah. course it's fun man networking reaching mm -hmm. out to people for sure <clears throat> oh i have on tuesdays now i'm not sure if you're a free on t yeah you work mm -hmm. on tuesdays i i did a meetup really? it grew from two to four now yeah really? so okay. this nice gentleman his name is dave he's like in his 60s very knowledgeable um he, i met him at another meetup and he's like do you mind if we have just a one-on-one -on -one conversation i'm like of course so he came he comes on tuesdays at noon all right and I told him what book I'm reading, the Greek mythology, and he picked up a copy and he's reading it. And now we're discussing it. And two other ladies are sisters and they heard about this uh, meetup and they're now a part of it. So they come every Tuesday at two o'clock and we just discuss um, Greek mythology. Like we'll pick a topic or a story and we just talk about it. Okay. And it's so much fun, man. All right. Like these ladies are older than me, like they're in their 40s. I'm not trying mm -hmm. to say anything. And I'm, I'm not even in my 30s yet. And they're taking notes of stories that I've read in this book. So definitely knowledge is power. Knowledge mm -hmm. is, it helps, like we, like you said, you don't read books, but if I were to give you a, a summary of what mm -hmm. I read, that's perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just crazy. I like it. And we're trying to grow that group. Yeah. And just, it's, it's an open discussion. Like we have another meetup and I feel like his true purpose is to like gain clients. You know what I mean? Like yeah, there's a motive behind everyone. Yeah. No motive here, man. Just come. Let's talk, man. Tell me something that I don't know. Yeah. Enlighten me. You know yeah. what I mean? I like to be, I like to learn something every day. Like, wow, I never knew that. Crazy how that changed my day, my world. So that's what I do. So man, to be honest, like if I could speak frank for you, I'm not trying to be deep. No, I like people ahead. talking to me, man. Like true talk. Like what's yeah. up, man? What are you, what are you going through? Yeah. And if you want to talk about the stars, you want to talk about like Greek mythology, you want to talk about anything that interests you, like Geek Tank, man. Geek Tank is about what you're geeking about, you know? What yeah. I mean? So what are you geeking about? Like, what if I ask you right now, like, what's something that you, you like right now, like you're like, after I finish this podcast, I'm going to like go get on my underwear and just like fucking read whatever. You know? Yeah. What I'm do gonna you like watch, to do? Probably watch a movie or, you know, edit, edit this video, you know? go in that flow state of editing and yeah. You know, you like learning. Yeah, I love I love doing that because, like, I, like I said, I I love the visual medium and I love like how it's uh, so team it involves a group of people. Definitely. And it's just like you know bringing all these group of people to create this one singular vision. Mm -hmm. And it's like you can see everybody's little uh, aspect into it. Yeah. Like whether it's like the DP, whether it's like you know the set designer, you see their own unique take on it. And it's like okay, and it just represent it in this one. One family. Union. Yeah. One union. You know what I mean? Yeah. One. It's funny you said that because today I saw a clip on Instagram about like the beginning stages of Lion King. Mm -hmm. How like the producers, the, like the big directors gave up on it because um, they didn't like the music, the soundtrack or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Then they jumped off that movie and went to what? Pocahontas because they mm -hmm. thought that was going to be like the biggest uh, sequel or biggest movie. Wrong. It was Lion King. You yeah. Know what I mean? And they gave it to like these little, uh, these new producers, new mm -hmm. uh, directors. Did you hear the story? Are you familiar? Yeah, with it? I'm sort of familiar with it because it's like, oh, okay. And they gave it to their B team. Yeah. In yeah, a yeah. sense, it's like, okay, these uh, these guys are just coming up. All right, we we, we, we don't it. really have any faith in this movie. Of let's course. give it to them and let's see what they can do. How crazy! That was yeah. Is that it's the highest growing film in 1994, mm -hmm. and like they went through so much adversity. Like there was a hurricane, they lost, and they were doing work at their homes, yeah. man crazy bro it's crazy and the thing is like you know it shows you that like like what you're doing with this gallery you're giving you're not like as you said before to me you're not building household names i mean you're I am building household no no yeah, you're building household names but not you're selling not selling household names yeah. yeah yeah yeah. i'm not selling like andy warhols i'm selling yeah, yeah. alejandro salmi mm -hmm. and hopefully i'm trying to put him introduce him to the market it's hard yeah. it's hard it's not yeah. easy and, but then it's like you know you you're fighting these ch constant challenges Definitely. and you're being inspired by by these constant challenges yeah. it's like hey no i'm gonna break this wall Definitely, i'm gonna you know get sure. out there Man, if I could tell you another story, I'm not trying to boast, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I met this rapper, amazing rapper, at this festival. And he was so nice, so good. He's still in his beginning stages, but his videos are getting traction. Yeah. Like, his last video just got, like, a million views, which is big. You know what I mean? Nice, nice. So, I invited him to the gallery, free of charge. I'm like, man, let's do something big here. Let's use the Defender. Use the, use every, use my resources mm -hmm. for your success. Because people need to hear your voice. And, I, and yeah. I'm telling you, man, if... Our job in this world is just to help others. Yeah. Our job is not to do anything else. Mm -hmm. We're not taking anything with us. You know what I mean? So just to have that kind of um, 
satisfaction that this gentleman, this person is at a different level because of my help. What else? What what else could make you want to sleep more at night? No, you know exactly. I mean, I mean we, you have that mentality of you know what you put out there is what you're gonna get back. Amen. Karma, and man. and and I totally believe in that, and I believe a lot of other people should believe in that too. Is that what you put out there is what you're essentially gonna get back? True. And have no expectations. No, expectations is the root of all evil, man. Mm-hmm. Definitely. That's funny. I read an article the other day that says like when you have an art show, art exhibition, have no expectation. Mm-hmm. Like walk in there like you're not making a dollar. Because, <laughs> you know, like when you, I swear I'm not lying to you. Like when I first opened this gallery, I'm like, oh, for the opening, grand opening. You know what I mean? He'll sell one. He'll sell two. He'll, I'm sure he'll sell four. We didn't sell shit. <laughs> Dude, are you talking? Are you t- yeah. Oh, my God. We didn't sell anything. And it was. I imagine like yeah, after that, like, you know, your perspective changed. You're just like, it's oh. not about selling. It's about providing the experience. Definitely. For making sure that everyone that walks into this door gets a positive experience out of this gallery. Amen. And they want to come back exactly. and experience it again. Yeah. For sure. I'm telling you, man, in the art world, it's different because it's not like going like, it's not like I'm selling groceries where someone's mm-hmm. like, I'm hungry, I need it now, and that's yeah. it. Or clothes because I need to cover my back. Or a house because I need a house. An art piece, people need time to like think about it and mm-hmm. really love it and come back and be talked over. Like it's definitely a 12 step process. So I'm learning that now and guess what I'm doing? I'm not sure if I told you mm-hmm. in June. <clears throat> so our next exhibition is going to be a Disney exhibition. Okay. Yeah. So cool. Uh, local artists were doing like a Disney piece. Amazing. But June 1st, I don't have any exhibitions lined up. I, w- I want to focus on five artists and cater them. That's it. Because why am I like changing the walls every month? Mm-hmm. Like, what if someone likes a piece and he comes back next month because he still needs to be wooed, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and, and taken care of and pampered. Um, he, he won't lose. He, it's gone. Maybe he wants to take another look at it on the wall. I mean, maybe mm-hmm. he wants to ask about pricing. About that. It's gone. You know what I mean? I'm, here I am introducing a new artist who I'm not really familiar with. Yeah. So that's it. That's gone. You know what I mean? I have my five resident artists, and that's who, like, because people are, like, walking up here and saying, yeah, so how can I get a part of this gallery? I'm not trying to sound like all oh, like um mm-hmm. like you sorry you know what I mean like either you have something that because all these artists I truly love yeah. Alejandro San yeah. Nelson, Shireen, uh, Margarita de Breva, the lady who does the beautiful oil on canvas mm-hmm. man they're all humble yeah if I call them they'll be here for me you know what I mean all mm-hmm. these artists you know what I'm trying to say like yeah, I, yeah, it's yeah. like a, that's it's like a personal conversation I'm sorry no, we just no, got no. that on the, on the thing but you know what I'm trying to say yeah, like, yeah I want to work I'm tired of doing the impossible for the ungrateful yeah. That's all it is. Simple as that. The impossible from the ungrateful. And the thing is, like, you can't, it's, it's, what you're saying is not wrong. It's like, you can't just cater to everyone. You can't. There's, there's no way you can do that. No. And imagine all the it's, stories I got to memorize for yeah. these artists. Like, oh, this artist does on, all on canvas. This one does mm. uh, screen print. It'll, it'll, mi- it'll mess up my mind, bro. Yeah. But if I focus, like, for example, car dealerships. Yeah. You'll see a Honda selling a, a Toyota, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. they don't know the Toyotas, you know what I mean? They don't know what's inside of them, but they definitely know what's in a Honda. And every seven years, they what? They reproduce the new models. Mm-hmm. And old models are out, and the new models are in. But for me to keep on, like, uh, changing my lot, man, it's too much. Mm-hmm. And like yeah. I said, it's you're already working two jobs, pretty much. Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's, it's, it's insane. Jobs, it's yeah. yeah, more than two sure. jobs, because, like, the social media aspect of this is insane to keep up with. Yeah. Just solely on your own. It's not like you have a marketing team behind you. I don't. I am the marketing team. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, I got to like, after this, I got to go on the website. And after that, I got to scrub some toilets. <laughs> yeah. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, a, what, what a bathroom it is, though. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I wish I could move this camera to show you. But uh, <laughs> please visit the gallery to see the bathroom. Yeah. yeah it's one of the highlights. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. But it is what it is, man. Like, mm-hmm. we ask God or uh, the higher force for a stronger back, not a lighter load. Mm-hmm. So, and we, we build tolerance, man. I'm telling you, like, one day you'll look back and say, wow, I went through a lot. Here I am still standing. Just keep living, man. Like, nothing is so serious in the world. And believe in miracles. <clears throat> I'm not trying to say that I went through miracles, but I no, know no, people yeah. around me who I've never in a million years would never expect them to, like, strike, strike rich, you know what I mean? Or strike gold. But they struck it, man. They struck, I'm telling you, people who, mm-hmm. that's another day, another topic, but <laughs> miracles happen, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, All right. I've seen All right. I guess uh, if you wanted it off there with that with that inspirational speech sure. right there. Yeah, that's you good. know, That's, yeah, that's a really sure. good ending point this for us. This is fun, man. I like this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is so cool. So you'll see more of this um, probably maybe monthly or. For sure. Tri-weekly. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. This is the, 
you know, episode zero. Give us, yeah, episode, yeah. <laughs> Give us your feedback, guys. Mm-hmm. If you like to hear more about us, let us know. We'll be here. All right, this is Geek Tank signing out, and thank you for watching Between Two Paintings with Monad, right? Mo. Or Mo. Mo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just Mo, bro. Just yeah. Mo. Mo. <laughs> Mo and K. All right. All right. We're out. Later. <laughs>